Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. I'm going to be checking out the WD Black D50 High Performance Gaming Dock. You can purchase it in various configurations from the base unit, which has no internal storage, or you can go for the option with one terabyte or two terabyte of NVMe storage. Now, if you haven't heard of NVMe SSD storage, essentially it allows you to accelerate transfer data and get into the game fast with read speeds of up to 3000 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 2500 megabytes per second. If you want to learn more about the performance of the WD Black NVMe SSD series, I created a video covering the SN850 in particular, and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. I have the one terabyte model here today, and I'm gonna be using it primarily here in my setup with my Razer laptop for productivity purposes, a little bit of gaming, and VR work as well. Now the cost of this model may vary depending on where you purchase. It's gonna come in at around the $500 mark, also depending on the configuration you go for, whether it's a one or two terabyte drive. I'll leave a link to some purchase options below. So who would buy this dock? Well, I guess the WD Black Series with the all black industrial design and RGB LED is immediately going to appeal to gamers on PCs, laptops, or even modern consoles. In terms of the specs, the D50 is a very compact dock coming in at 120 millimeters by 120 by 55. It weighs around 450 grams. On the back of the gaming dock, there's a power connector into which you can plug the external 180 watt power supply provided with purchase. Next to that is the 1000 base T gigabit ethernet port for high speed networking. Then there are two USB type A ports that support super speed USB at 10 gigabits per second and up to 7.5 watts maximum power. So you can not only use them for data, but also to power and charge your devices. Below that, there are two Thunderbolt 3 ports. The first one can supply power to a host computer at up to 87 watts. It supports the DisplayPort 1.4 protocol and has a speed of 10 gigabits per second. There's a second Thunderbolt 3 port next to it, which supports all of the previous apart from the 87 watts of power. This one delivers a maximum of 15 watts. Next to this is the DisplayPort connection, which supports a standard 20 pin DisplayPort connector and can drive up to 5K resolution at 60 Hertz. And there's even one more port. This time we get a standard USB type C port with speeds of 10 gigabits per second. And that's not all. If we turn around and have a look at the front of the dock, we also get another USB type C port and an additional USB type A port. There's a 3.5 audio jack within and out to connect either headphones or a microphone and also a front LED which provides the device status. And at the base of the unit is an RGB LED panel on the front facing side of the dock. The settings for the RGB LED lights can be controlled via the WD Black dashboard software, which is available for Windows users as a free download from the WD website. Other things to be aware of is that the dock can get a little bit warm when you've been using it for a few hours. Not hot enough to be a concern, but you will feel the temperature increase for longer usage. As I mentioned earlier, most of the ports that you would ever require of a dock are provided on the D50. The only thing that I think is lacking is a micro SD or SD slot, which would have been awesome for those of you using it for productivity, such as myself, when you're wanting to transfer large video files onto your computer. But apart from that, it really does have most of the ports and features you would need for gaming and productivity. If you want more information about where you can purchase product details, etc., I'll leave a link to all of that in the description box below. In the meantime, if you have any questions whatsoever about the video that you've seen today, feel free to drop them in the comments box below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.